I'm coming. More than two years ago for the first game, we got excited with the idea of like, oh man, what if we made The Last of Us Part One to look as good? The original. The tech of the PS5, it's like an open the 4K HDR, improved haptics, 60 frames, reimagine The Last of Us. It gave us opportunities to rebuild our characters at the highest fidelity. Not only are the characters more detailed, I mean down to the, the irises and the pupil depth. Aside from that, the facial anime, reactions, glances, glares, right? Like you get all of it. So no matter what you stick to me, like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Got it. Good. Good. Only just have the highest fidelity characters in the cutscene, but also in gameplay. It's the same character, so now we can do these seamless transitions in and out. It has benefited from seamless transitions and emotional scripting. Pretty good, huh? Our stories happen in gameplay, on a stick. She knew my mom. I'll keep you constantly in this world. Riley, come here. Now you got this, go. One of the things that enabling is that we're able to have a density of physics objects, bumpables, chippables, breakables, destructible objects in a scene. It just makes the world feel rich, it makes it feel lived in. Materials kind of have the properties that you'd expect. The turret truck, in, when it's firing at you and it's just sending objects flying left and right. That it invokes. And it's giving us some play with. Surround him! Our AI tech has just increased incredibly, and it has sophisticated systems for things like the of how these NPCs perceive and understand what the player is is much more sophisticated. Kill. Now, how it's so much more rewarding coming out of it from the other side. Get out! One of the other big AI improvements is the buddies. The buddies technology that we developed for The Last of Us Part II, as can see, their exposure. We not only have exposure, we have future exposure. In seconds, that corner is going to be exposed, so I'd better move now. This really lets the buddies make very complex uh, decisions and maintain that more believably. Another tries to match the desired movement to a bucket of hundreds of animations that fits the path of where the character is going to go. And this motion model just gives this really seamless sense of transition. The player's movement is just a lot cleaner space. First, we just had to, and then beyond that, we wanted to add uh, several features that fans have been asking for. For example, we now have a permadeath mode. Along that, we've added a brand new speed run mode so players can time themselves. There's a whole community of gamers that jump through this game. Beyond that, we added a bunch more of unlockables. So there's all these different outfits for Ellie and Joel that uh, people can unlock. A model viewer mode, so people can really appreciate the details. We added features. Every single accessibility option that we offer. As she surveys the apartment, her eyes wander to Joel. She steps past the couch. He wears the wristwatch Sarah gifted him, which now has a cracked face. To my knowledge, this is the first PlayStation game that has now it's nighttime. Joel stirs in his sleep. And that's reality on this game. So much of the idea. We revamped, you know, everything from these expansive vistas that not only the rooftops overlooking the Capitol building, for example, like just the, the breath of fresh air when you go up there and you just like, you feel that sort of release in, in tension. And then down in the, the tunnels in wilds and you get that dank, flooded tunnel feel. All these environments are just completely reimagined. Now we got those haptics, the 3D audio, the fast loading. It really creates a much more immersive audio in The Last of Us Part One is being able to hear an enemy before they sneak up on you. I'm trying to do a, uh, you're hearing them skitter around in a different room and you're hearing them trying to get it behind you. Ah! 
having that two part reaction of like, it's just really heightens that sense of just being grounded. You are in this character, you are in this world. The amount of control that developers have over the dual sense. It's really, really cool. All the way it works with the bow is that at the very beginning, when they're starting to draw the bow, there's a little bit of resistance. And then when you release the bow, you're also getting that resistance going out of the trigger. When you are a haptic vibration on the shot, and then what haptic vibration on the pump of the shotgun. And what's much more sophisticated about that on the dual sense is that. And those two beats as what you're going to feel on the controller. This looks like a good spot. This also ties in to the new workbench animations. So if you're seeing Joel putting something in or putting a new stock on a gun, that moment where he's like Jeffy back on that. We have, you know, haptics all across the board, you know, for all the moments you kind of expect for clambering, jumping, landing. Melee and getting melee, like all those kind of high intensity moments we have represented in the haptics. When Joel goes in to pet the giraffe, getting that little light touch on the haptics as he's petting the giraffe. To me, that's the essence of The Last of Us. It's the high tension moments, it's the low tension moments, it's all of it feeling in as many ways as we can. And that's what the new technology on the Was that everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. There's something of playing as Joel and Ellie on this journey, then to take that experience and really honor it, and but elevate it in every, whether it's pipeline, whether it's art direction, whether it's a technology, everything that'll, not different, extremely better. <laughs>